awesome. Pedal assist five. Oh, she's pulling. I never seen so many roots. Can't even avoid them. Hello guys, Peach here with the Nacto folding ox. I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like. Here's the control unit. Five levels of uh, power, pedal assist, battery indicator, odometer, speed. You're gonna go, we got a horn here. We got cruise control when you hold this down and set the speed and also if you hold this down, you get a walk assist. We got six speeds. We got 20 by four fat bike tires. Nice these are. We got a 500 watt 48 volt motor. That's nice, like on my F2. This one has folding pedals. Let me get over here. Let me show you this first. The battery pulls out. Seat goes up. You can pull a battery out with the key here. I marked mine red for off and green for on. So that way I know. Here's where you do the clasp to fold it. Uh, it's got a front front uh, fork here. I just want to show you real quick and we're going to go on the road and see how it runs and maybe take it a little off road also. All right, I'm on the road. I'm in pedal assist one. It does like probably almost 10 miles an hour. And I'm going to try all the five assists. We're going to go up. We're going up a hill right now. This has a lot of torque, this one. We're going in two. I really should just do throttle. Let me try just throttle anyway over here. This is pedal assist two. I'm using the throttle only. We're going 11.4. Let's try pedal assist three. 12, 13. Like 13, pedal assist four. That's like 15, pedal assist five. Whoa, she's pulling. Whoa, she's going 22.7, 22.8, Whoa, this thing's zippy. I like this motor, this 500 watt rear hub motor on the fat bike wheel has more power than on the F4 that I have. The F4 has a thinner tire, but the hub motor is thinner, so it doesn't have the power. That's why I like the F2 I have, and this ox is just like it. It goes when you want to go, it pulls real hard nice let's check out the horn nice horn now let's try to cruise control I'm gonna set this beauty up to let's see over here on the flat say I have it at like 13 almost you hold this cursor button down with your throttle the little speedometer comes up in the left hand side there now we're in cruise control it'll hold that until you put on the brakes you could even pedal with it and help it and it still will stay on cruise control i like this feature on all the natco bikes because i just like putting it on cruise control I'm just cruising when it's nice and long and flat so that's a nice feature yeah look at the handling on it it's really nimble it, it feels balanced, like I could let go. It's just balanced and real good, this bike. It feels real like it wants to hold straight up. At first, when I looked at it, I thought it was gonna be like, not a good balance, but this one's really balanced. It holds straight up really good. You could just let go of the handlebars. I don't recommend you doing that, but. And then the six speeds, let me drop it down. It's still on cruise control and I could pedal with it now if I want. 
and then take it off the cruise control. You could do the throttle or hit the brake and it'll stop. Now I'm gonna go down to pedal assist two. And right now I'm in gear number six, just lightly pedaling. And we're going like 11 miles an hour. It's really nice. To turn the light on, you just press the button once and the light comes up. Press it again. And if you hold that down, the cursor button when you're walking, you hold it down and it'll go into walk mode. The ride's real smooth, it's torquey, I like it. has a lot of power for a 500 watt motor. This one here has the 48 volt battery, but it's a 12 amp hour. Whereas the other bikes I got from Naco, I believe are the 48, 16 amp hour. It'd be cool if they made a better battery like an upgrade one for you go longer distance, but this should go pretty far. I only charged it up, I would say like 90%. My brother's actually behind me on the F6, the bigger bike. <laughs> Let's say if he goes in front so you could see him on that one. I really like that bike. It's awesome. I take that in the woods and everything. Pass me up, brother. See, he's on the F6. This is like our favorite. We take this in the mountain and everything. We put this one through hell if you look at our videos. Really nice. That has a 750 watt motor. Going level one. That's like our favorite so far. But I think this one here, this folding ox, is going to be some good fishing trips with this beauty. I think we're going to go a little off-road with this. So far, so good. Wasn't expecting it to be an off-road machine, but if you have to go off-road, I guess you can. Just let that air out of the tires to absorb up these bumps. I don't know if anyone will take it off road like this, but. I've never seen so many roots. Can't even avoid them. Tires have good traction. Tires grip well. I don't know where to go. <laughs> this is bumpy. <laughs> Did 
pick your line. All right, now I think we're gonna be on some of terrain that this bike will be good for like gravel roads a deer <laughs> this is perfect for this thing awesome I'm just using throttle on level one. We're in perfect on this stuff. Capable little folding bike. Natto folding ox. Let's see what's in here. Brothers behind me on the F6. This ran great. Oh, we got a stick on the derailleur. Let me get that out. No, on a stick in the derailleur. The famous dreaded derailleur killer. Oh no. <clears throat> uh, got it out. Worked great. I think I'm gonna wrap this test ride review up here. All right, guys, I tested this Natco Ox out, the folding ox. I'll tell you, it was fun. It's a torquey little bike, it has power like my F2, but you can fold it in half so which that makes it cool and it's also got this rack you could carry stuff on you could unscrew it also but i took it on the street it flew like i said it had a lot of power in every mode i like it and uh off-road it surprised me on them roots and all that stuff it's capable if you let out some air out of the tires i think i have mine at like 16 right now if you let some air out probably 10 or less you could go off-road much better but I'm not that heavy, so 15's good for me. 15, 16. But everything worked good on it. I had a blast. I hope you liked my video of me running it. If you're looking to get a folding bike, this one could do anything. And also, I didn't hear a lot of these folding bikes. The batteries make noise and move around. This one, it stood tight. I didn't hear no rattles or nothing, so that was nice. And what I like about this one too is you could take the seat off, put a normal seat on there with the suspension posts I use on my fat bikes. Like I got on the F6 here. Let me show them, Greg. I got this uh, suspension post. Push down on that and show them. So you could put that on the uh, folding ox and it'll really ride plush. So that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it two thumbs up for this one i'm gonna have some fun with it probably do some fishing adventures and put the gear on the back in that saddle bag thing i got from naco it'll be nice thanks for watching guys i appreciate you all
leave me a thumbs up if you're new watching subscribe for more biking videos and all that good stuff thanks guys see you later bye